guys, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to hear me or not. The range is pretty busy with rifles and they're making a lot of noise. Also, I'm on lane 20. There's a guy on lane two that I can hear all the way here. And of course, he's the expert right now at the range trying to teach everybody, give pointers, but anyway. I'm here at the range with something I've been looking for for a very long time, and that is the Beretta. A3. Finally found one used and I was so excited to find it. I didn't really look at it very closely. That's what came with it. it came with three, ten rounds. Ten rounds. But anyway, I can get more mags, I hope, but this is what we got. So first shots, I'm using Fiocchi and that is 124 grain. 9 millimeter, of course. At least how we do. We're going to shoot to the bottom right target, and I've got rounds. just to get it going. I'm going to start from decoy, double action. Let's see how we do. a flinch. The reset is there. That's kind of hard to... Interesting. We're, aim we're empty. I'll bring this around and show you, but the reset is very soft and very short. It's kind of hard for me. Those are the first shots. I need to go. It was a little difficult for me to gauge what it was going to be. And I felt it, so I pulled the trigger again, but it hadn't reset yet. And you saw the flinches of all flinches. And I'm going to leave that there in the video. I'm not going to edit it out. It happens to all of us. Let me try to turn this around without bouncing you around too much so you can see it. I'm going to bring this in. We're about seven yards out. Let's see if you can see this. Not sure if you're going to be able to see that or not, but actually, let me bring the video tripod up here. There we are. So th this was the first one. It was right here. Two brain farts up here, and the other two were here. So again, that was seven yards out. We're going to try to load a couple or more. Around. We're going to load a couple more and see how it goes. Stand by. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you a different angle here. Hope this turns out okay. The target is right there. And we're at seven yards. Now we got 10 rounds loaded of the POP. Still the 124 grain. And we're still using, of course, the Beretta M9A3. We're gonna shoot at the bottom left target. And again, from the decock position. And see how we can do there. Gosh, I don't even know where, the, oh, that was high right. Shouldn't have had that third couple. That was good. So it looks to be really, that was high. I'm all over the place. And we are empty. Mag out. Beretta. And 983. Stick around. Video to come. 
right up to this. Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be continuing the series of what do you think about this firearm and I'm going to give you just a quick look and this time is going to be at the Beretta M9A3 and then I would like to go down and check out the comment section and engage in conversation with you and learn from you. What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? And um, you know, if you've been in the military and served, and you thank you for your service, but if you've used the M9, what do you think of the evolution of this? I'm not gonna get into a lot of detail about the history behind and what, what, you know, how it made it or didn't make it to the uh, military trials because there's a lot of videos on that and I wanna keep this one short. And like I said, mainly a conversation starter and say, what do you think about the Beretta M9A3? What I think it does fantastically well is the marketing department of Beretta really deserves a, an award for this because it comes in this ammo can, as you've seen in the past. And I think it's a marketing genius on, on how they did this. So you open it up just like an ammo can and voila, inside you have the pistol. Now this one I bought it used, I bought it from a friend and uh, he fired around 500 rounds through it and I've put an additional 300, um, maybe a little bit under that, but let's just even it out, call it 300. One thing I didn't notice because I was so excited that he decided to sell this to me was that it comes, it came with three 10 round mags, not with the 17 round mags that it's supposed to come with, or at least for us that live in free states. So I went ahead and I went to the Beretta website and I ordered two of the 17 round Beretta factory mags. So now I have a total of five, two 17 rounders and three 10 rounders. As you can see here, here are the, the 10 round that it came with. And then a little bit later in the video, I'll show you the seven, the 17 rounders. And also my friend, what he had, he had this thin, the focus catch up, grips that came, that he purchased for it. And I didn't really care for the combination. I liked more the all FDE and we'll look into that right now, but it wasn't a bad, bad package. Um, I paid probably a little bit more than I should have, but, um, I couldn't find one anywhere locally. So getting back to the gun, it comes in this ammo case the way you see it, one mag in the pistol, two out here. And it also comes with a Beretta factory lock. lock. And it comes with another set of grip besides, besides the Vertec grip that we'll show you in a second, but it comes with this Hogue wraparound grip. And we'll take a look at that as well in a second. All right. So this is what it comes with. Let me take it out of the case and be right back with you. And we're back. Here we have on the table the unloaded Beretta M9A3. But just for safety sakes, let's take another quick look. And it is unloaded. And starting with the mags, you can get it with uh, mags that are either 17 rounds, which is the, the ones that I purchased afterwards and these mags are not only very well done everything's made in Italy the pistol is made in Italy but they have the special coating that was requested for the military that was for for sand anti-sand and all that stuff or desert warfare that this was intended to be this is a pistol that was designed uh, hopefully Beretta what Beretta wanted to do is get it into the military trials that of course were won by the SIG P320 and um, the Glock 19X was uh, second place on that competition. But this is a pistol that was, of course, designed for warfare, for military duty, and to be operated in the harshest conditions. It is a tank, but a tank in the meaning that it is so well done, everything is made uh, to withstand the harshest conditions. And uh, I love the color. This is a pistol that I just love looking at. Uh, everything from the two-tone of the mag. Just everything looks so good. I love just looking at this pistol. It's a very soft shooter. And um, there are a couple things about that that I like and some that I didn't. And the trigger is something that has me a little bit uh, undecided on whether I completely love this pistol or not. And I'll touch base with that in a second. But here you go, this is the G model. You have two options for that you can get this, the how you want it configured. One is up here, you can either have it with a safety, 
decocker, or you can have it with just the G model, which in this case, the control is, a strict, is strictly a decocker. So when, it's, when you charge the gun, just push the level down, and now you're back in double action decocker mode. Um, when you get the original, the, the, the other model, you can either just put it on safety, push it up in your safety, or push it all the way down and decox it. So this is the G model. It also, another thing that can, that of this design, it has the Vertec grip, so it's got more of a straight grip, and it comes with a thin, as you can see here, let the focus catch up a little bit, you can see with the thin grips, there you go, with texture in the, in the back, texture in the front, so you get a really nice grip on it, or included in the package, they have this wraparound hoe grips made by Hogue that gives you a very nice texture. And it also adds that famous Beretta hump in the back. So if it's something you like, how it fits in your hand, rather than the Vertec grip, the thin Vertec grip, you can just take the screws off, take the panels out, and put the Hogue grip. And you can see right away how it changes the angle from straight to this. Another thing that changes when you put the wrapper on grip is the distance of the trigger reach versus just the thin. Now staying with a thin grip, one thing that surprised me is for the size of the pistol, you don't have a lot of room here for your fingers. Even with a mag inserted, I have medium sized hands, true medium sized hands. In gripping the pistol, I'm right here. So anybody that has large or like most of the YouTube channel guys that of course have gorilla sized hands, so they claim, um, I, I don't know how they have room here. But this is one thing that surprised me for such a large pistol is you have very small room here. I know I'm bouncing all over the place, but let's go back up to the top. Another nice element here is it's got night sights from the factory. And I don't know this for sure, but I've heard reports that they are made by Trigicon, but they do work very well. And there's the rear one, and there's the front, and it is dovetailed in. So unlike other Berettas that, gotta catch up there, unlike other Berettas that are part of the frame, of the slide, I'm sorry, um, and you couldn't replace them, these are, these are replaceable. It's got the thread or barrel. I don't have comp, um, either compensators or silencers, but every, every report I've heard is that this, this pistol runs fantastically with a can on it. Sticking with the point of being a military pistol, a pistol that was gun, uh, designed for combat, it also runs better, and I've tested this, it runs better with plus P ammo than it does with regular range ammo, even with 115, 124, if you put plus P ammo through it, it that's when this pistol is on its el in its element. So just uh, keep mind, that in mind, you may want to test it yourself. It's got a three slot pick rail up here, so very nice to attach anything you may want to, you know, lights, lasers, whatever you want to put in here. It's got also an oversized mag release, which works very, very well. And it's got a slight bevel in the mag well for your mag changes and it does do the job well, and the mandatory lanyard loop for the military. So again, overall, I think they did a fantastic job with this. It's got the D-spring back here, so the trigger is nicer than the regular M9s, and it is the double action on this thing is actually, it's already been checked, but just making sure. The double action in this is much better than other double actions that I felt from Beretta. It's actually very smooth, very, very, very smooth. And it's pulling, this one is pulling at about 8.1, 8.2 pounds. And then the single action is just buttery smooth. And look at this, there. Ah, there you did it. I wanna talk about this. I got a little bit ahead of myself. Did you see that false reset right there? That happened to me several times at the range where you go and you think you hit the reset there, but it doesn't. 
you got to go further out. There it clicked. See if it can catch that again. There it bumped. You, you have a, a physical, you feel the bump and you think, oh, there's a reset, but no, it's not. You got to go further. There it is. So it happened to me several times in the video when I was filming the shooting part of the video where I thought I hit the reset and it actually didn't. So I'm not sure what that is about. But overall, it's a fantastic pistol. I think for me, is the best Beretta, double action Beretta that, I've, that I own. And um, I wanted to bring it out, show it to you. These are the other grips that came with it. The, these are by, made by Gun, G-U-N-N. And that's the way it came from, from, uh, from my friend. So he didn't have the factory grips either, the thin ones. So I ordered the factory grips and I ordered the two extra mags. Do you like, what do you think of this black like that? Let me see if I can bring it in a little closer for you. There you go. Do you like that? Or do you prefer the original ones? And one, one more time. That's what it looks like with a Hogue wraparound rubber grip. One more thing is when you look at the, the barrel and guide rod, you can see here the guide rod, if, it's, if the light is doing it justice, there you go is this is one thing that surprised me is that they put it's a plastic guide rod now to be fair i've never had any problems with plastic guide rods and but i don't know i just wish it was a metal guide rod give me a little bit more weight up front and it is an uncaptured spring so just for purposes of cleaning and keeping everything from flying all over the place i would have liked to have a metal guide rod with a captured spring but doesn't it just personal preference. So this thing is a tank, like I said, a pleasure to shoot at the range. Um, I'm trying to figure out on that reset what's going on there. Night sights, as I said, you can see here, looking at the angle, you can see that it's not only the controls are ambi, but you can see how they're also different widths. There you go. Quick look at it all the way around. And no, I'm not muscling myself. So guys and girls, there it is. Beretta M9A3. Quick look at it. What do you think about it? I look forward to you engaging with you in the comments section. Please remember that I upload videos every Friday morning and when I can on Wednesday mornings as well. I'm very active on Instagram, and there you can see what's coming down the pipeline for the channel way before it hits YouTube. Now more than ever, we need your help as viewers, subscribers, uh, fellow Second Amendment lovers. And it's very obvious that YouTube is after the gun channels. Most of our videos have been demonetized or are being demonetized the moment we upload them. So what happens is YouTube, when a video is demonetized, they have no incentive to promote them. And when they don't promote the videos, it, they're pretty much dead on their tracks unless you are subscribed and you get notified. That way you see our videos. If you press like and share them, it helps the channels immensely. There's a reason we say this and you hear it from every channel is because it's the engagement that helps the algorithm move the video up in the promotion uh, totem pole, if you will. If you just watch the video and just leave, the algorithm says there was no engagement and they tend not to promote those videos. So it does help. About 92% of the viewers are not subscribed. If you like what we do, hit the subscription button because that's the way that you help us stay alive in a hostile environment for our type of videos, which happens to be YouTube. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. I look forward to your comments and God bless.